Welcome back to SmackDown vs. Raw, where we let Batista take us through the season mode so we can see the WWE through the eyes of the animal. Last time we won Stacy's contract and finally got to play Santa. This time we join Bischoff in the ring and I think he has an announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, we are less than four weeks away from the cross-branded spectacular, the Royal Rumble. Oh no, not another one. And in a break from tradition, I've decided that if a Raw superstar wins the Royal Rumble, he'll get a shot at the World Heavyweight title four weeks before WrestleMania. Isn't that kind of like Day of Reckoning too? That means the Royal Rumble winner could go on to WrestleMania as the champion, guaranteeing him the biggest match and the biggest paycheck of his life. Well, regardless of if it is or isn't, I'll take it. I've chosen the 15 superstars who will represent Raw in the 30-man Royal Rumble. Batista better be one of them. And over the next few weeks, we'll be having a series of matches to decide the order of entry into the Royal Rumble match. The idea is simple. You win matches, you get a higher number, and you enter later. Sounds simple enough. If you lose matches, you enter the Royal Rumble earlier. And you know, King, the higher your number, the better chance you have of winning the Royal Rumble. You're absolutely right, JR. If you get number 30, you're in great shape. But if you draw number one, you might as well call it quits. Well, guys, judging by the animal's record so far, I don't think we have to worry about him losing any matches or entering the Royal Rumble at an early number. Looks like we're fighting Shelton Benjamin again. Well, that's not going to be a problem. We've beaten that man so many times before. And this time, we're going to do it with Stacy by our side. Oh, my. Oh, Whew. Trish, uh, are we going to get you as a manager, please? I mean, Batista's harem always has room to grow, you know. You can come right along. <laughs> and now the match gets underway, and Batista eats an elbow to start things off. And Benjamin gets thrown into the corner post. The animal's already getting knee-deep in Shelton Benjamin's ass, and he's powerless to stop him. And yes, JR and King just gonna go ahead and try to talk over me. You know, these guys, they show me nothing but disrespect. You know what we should do? We should have Batista go all the way up there to that commentary table, flip that shit, and then powerbomb them. If we actually had the option to do that, those two beloved commentators would be laid out for real. Anyways, we're seeing Batista throw Shelton into those steps, those 8,000 pound stairs, and he kicks him in the back. Oh no. His head bounces off the ring post. Batista is destroying this man. It shows us that he wants to be in the Royal Rumble at a very late number, very late entry. What's Batista doing? He's got a chair. If he uses that chair, he risks disqualification. That means he'll lose his entry position in the Royal Rumble. I would love to say that I doubt he'd do something like that, but anything's possible with the history between these two men. He picks him up for a military press. Slam! Big Dave goes up. He drops a knee on him. Oh no. Batista with a reversal. And an SCO. Stacy with a distraction. And Batista's wearing this man out with that chair. I, I did not see that coming. Uh, Batista? I know he's a dirty heel right now, but really? And Batista's setting this man up for a spine shattering power bomb. He goes for the cover. Will this be all? Yes, it is. I really uh, can't believe it. Okay. Uh, I think this is the first time we're seeing it, but Stacy provided a distraction and Batista beat this man with a chair. He did it, King. That win moved him up 10 spots in the Royal Rumble entry order. 10. So he's at number 11 now? He's off to a great start, JR. So he started at 1? Okay, well, Batista's number 11. I don't know how they, uh, I don't know their math and all this, but I'm not complaining. The animal sitting at number 11 with 100 superstar points. And 
and uh hold on so will we have to be worried about those other two names that we saw there well batista's gonna have a match with matt hardy v1 nah and which one should we take this time uh well stacy she came in handy last time so let's see her this time and yes matt hardy is a man that batista's beaten so many times already I doubt the outcome will be any different now. The Royal Rumble qualifying matches continue here tonight on Raw. The more matches a superstar wins, the closer he gets to entering the Royal Rumble at the coveted number 30 spot. Thanks to y'all for reiterating. Oh, we don't get anything from King, huh? That's it. All right. Moving on. It's time for V1 now. I wonder if they're going to talk over his entrance, too. No. Well, it didn't look like they were going to, so let's move on. Now we see the loading screen of the man that's going to lose this match. Forget about a lower entry number than he started with. Matt will even be lucky if he makes it to the Royal Rumble when the animal is done mauling him tonight. He's going to be just another victim. Stacy proving her worth by distracting V1. Making her our manager was the best thing we ever did. Damn, what a powerful pump handle slam. Hardy gets back up, showing his resilience. But we all know that won't be enough to overcome the animal. He takes the big man off his feet, but he too gets right back up. Batista with that reversal. And he takes momentum. And it leads into a spine buster. Every move that Matt takes adds up very quickly because of the sheer strength of the animal. If he wants to win, he can't afford to take any more moves like that. Batista with another spine buster. Matt Hardy's body's in the yellow as we see Batista kick him in the back. Despite V1's abundant ring awareness and reversals, the damage to his body has become visible. And like a predator sensing a wounded animal, Batista will stop at nothing to target it. Matt goes for the cover. Batista throws this man off. The power of the animal being showcased with that one. The disrespect leads to a dirty tactic by Batista. Matt Hardy refusing to go out there near Stacy. I guess he knows she'd kick his ass too. Dave is not letting this man have any ounce of momentum. He takes him to the top and drops him with a Brett's rope back suplex. Batista with those series of knees to the uh, area of Matt Hardy. But V1 comes back again with a reversal. Batista lets him have no momentum. And we see that as Batista hits him with, I don't even know what you call that move, but it looks amazing. A throw to the ropes. And Matt Hardy counters with a DDT. Batista could be in danger. Nope. He can't be in danger. This man is incapable of being in danger. We see another throw to the ropes, followed by a spear. And it looks like the animal was going to do it again until he was reversed. Those reversals are doing nothing but prolonging the inevitable. Batista with his finisher. Matt Hardy counters with a DDT. Damn, Matt Hardy has an answer for everything Batista's throwing at him so far except for when it comes to putting damage on the big man. The animal's body is like a tank, and very soon I predict it's about to completely steamroll V1. And Matt Hardy with a back body drop. All right, uh, Batista, I'm going to have to ask you to please hurry up and end this. And it looks like he's going for it. The torture rack is locked in. It's all over, Matt. Just give up. Live to fight another day. The ref calls for the bell. Looks like Batista goes up another 10 spots now. But I wonder how far Matt falls. Does he drop 10 spots? This guy is unstoppable, King. Two consecutive victories have propelled him to number 21 in the Royal Rumble order of entry. He's an animal. That's the way to do it. He's past the halfway point. Well, he's not wrong. I mean... 15 is less than 21. He's not wrong. 
But there goes those other two guys again. They're keeping up with Batista somehow. Huh. Wonder when we'll meet them. And there they are. Didn't have to wonder for too long. Now, who exactly are they watching on the TV? Wow. Looks like we've all been having the same kind of luck out there. You guys look good out there tonight. Good luck in the rumble. Yeah, good luck, dude. Yeah, whatever. I'm just glad my entry number's so close to you two losers. I figure that's two easy eliminations right there. Why you gotta be like that, Sean? Yeah, Batista's like, nah, I ain't even gonna give this man any attention. What you doing? My man's got a flip phone. Not gonna lie, it looks kind of like the one I had in high school. Yeah, I did okay tonight, but I could really use a hand next week. A hand with what? What are you trying to get a hand with? That's right. Like we talked about before. Oh, so this isn't your first time getting a hand from this mysterious person. Uh-huh. So I can count on you for some help next week? I got a job you can do with your hand. Great. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it, Kurt. What? Kurt? What the? Is he actually asking Kurt Angle for help? Sounds like it. That can't be it, JR. There's gotta be another explanation. Don't misunderstand, JR. He's just asking Kurt Angle for another handy. Well, if there is, King, I can't come up with it. Oh, no, JR. Don't say come. That's too much. What the hell am I even saying? <laughs>